Hey there, Golden Hawks. This is Mr. Ellington, your Dean of Students. I know we just got started in spring semester good, but it's already time to start thinking about next year. So over the course of this presentation, we're going to go into some subject area information and some general information that will help you as we start the course selection process. Starting out with English, as you move into your 10th grade year, English 2 or English 2 honors are your choices. There is the AP Capstone program, and I'll touch on that a little bit in the next slide. In 11th grade year, in addition to three and three honors, there's the AP English Language and Composition class. And at 12th grade, four, four honors in AP English Literature and Composition. As I mentioned, the AP Capstone program begins in 10th grade year. So our current ninth graders interested in entering this program, which is our most challenging diploma track, you would sign up for English 2 Honors and pay particular attention to the course code, choosing the one that ends in W, and then also choose AP Seminar to go along with that English class. Those classes, unlike most of our block classes, are paired together and run all year on A day, B day schedule, but will get you two credits at the end of that year. For our current sophomores in the AP Capstone program moving into junior year who wish to continue, you would sign up for the AP English Language and Composition, also ending in W in that course code, and then also choose AP Research to go along with that. As you already know, those two courses will run all year on A day, B day schedule. Our social studies graduation requirements are going through a little bit of a transition. So for our current juniors moving into senior year, you should already have world history and American history and some other social studies class on your credit detail or transcript. This means you will need civic literacy or civic literacy honors as a senior. For our current freshmen and sophomores, the pathway has shifted a little bit. As a freshman, you should have taken world history as a sophomore, civic literacy, or AP government. So your next step in 11th grade will be American history or AP US history. And then a new course will come your way in your 12th grade year, economics and personal finance. So there are three science credits required for graduation, but those three credits must come in these areas. An earth science of some sort, and you see the three possibilities at the top, either earth science, Honors or Science or AP Environmental, Biology or Biology Honors, and then a Physical Science, which can be the Physical Science course, Chemistry or Chemistry Honors, Physics or Physics Honors. You're welcome to take other science electives, but those electives do not count towards your science graduation requirements. Those three credits must come from these three areas. So there are four math credits required for graduation. Math 1 leading into Math 2, which leads into Math 3. At Math 2 and 3, there are academic and honors levels available. After Math 3, there are a few different ways you can go to get that fourth math credit, and we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But also along the way, if you struggle with math, there are foundations courses that you can take as an elective to help you prepare for the core math class. So when you're signing up for classes, if this applies to you, be sure to sign up for the Foundations class, for example, Foundations of Math 2, and then also the Math 2 class. Foundations will be offered in the fall and then Math 2 in the spring. But this is only if you struggle with math and feel like having an introduction to that core math piece would be beneficial. You are not required to take Foundations classes. So as I mentioned, there are a few different ways you can go to get that fourth math credit. After Math 3, Math 4 Academic or Honors is available to you. It's important to note that unlike Math 1, 2, and 3, this is not set up as an MVP course. You may also take Pre-Calculus Honors or AP Statistics as a fourth math, and also Discrete Math Honors with Computer Science, which is mostly intended for those interested in entering STEM careers after graduation. Beyond your fourth math, if you wish to continue with math, we also have AP Calculus A, B, and B, C that you can take beyond the four that are required. Healthful Living is a graduation requirement class, so all students at Holly Springs High School must take it. Most take it during their ninth grade year, but not all. 
So if healthful living is not listed on the credit detail page you were provided or you know you haven't taken it, I would strongly encourage you to go ahead and sign up for that next year. We offer it here at Holly Springs High School only as healthful living honors. But again, this is a graduation requirement, so you must take it before you graduate. One of the questions we get most often is, are world languages required for graduation? And the answer is, it depends. If your goal is to enter a four-year college or university directly after high school, then the answer is yes. Colleges require a minimum of two credits in the same world language for college entrance requirements. However, world languages are not required for a high school diploma. So after you've made your core class selections, you'll round out your choices with electives. So when making these choices, be sure to pay attention as to whether any courses you're interested in have prerequisites or not. Some of these are obvious. You can't take Spanish two without taking Spanish one first, but some aren't so obvious. One of the examples we use quite often is carpentry. If you're interested in taking a carpentry course, you must have taken construction core first, but that's just one example. There are many others. So again, you have a sheet that has prerequisites listed. So when making selections later, make sure you're referring to that sheet and to the credit detail sheet to make sure you have any prerequisites covered. In the CTE area, if you've taken a CTE class, consider taking the second level of that CTE class as a completer course. There are a few elective courses available to our upperclassmen that you won't see on the PowerSchool course selection page. These are our application classes. So PEPI, Sports Med, Early Childhood, Yearbook, and Student Leadership are courses available to upperclassmen that won't be in PowerSchool. These applications can be found on our website on our course registration page. So if interested, please visit that site. So just a few odds and ends to cover as we get close to wrapping up this presentation. When you go into PowerSchool, you'll be asked to choose 11 courses, eight primary selections and three alternates. I would suggest you choose these 11 courses very wisely. Once schedules are issued, changes will be very limited. If you're interested in the CCP program, which is the Career and College Promise program, Please check the Wake Tech website for more information and speak with your counselor if interested. Early release late arrival forms are available on that course registration page that I mentioned previously. This is for our seniors and for those needing blocks of time off if participating in CCP. There are also mid-year and early graduation forms updated and available on that site as well. So just to review as we get ready to make course selections, you're going to be asked to choose eight primary courses. This will include your core classes and your top choice electives. You'll also be asked to choose three alternate electives. I cannot stress enough that your alternate choices need to be different from your primary choices. A lot of students think that if they put a selection in their primary and in their alternates, that they're more likely to get it. And that is definitely not true. Power School does not work that way. PowerSchool tries to schedule the primary courses first, and then if it can't schedule an elective for some reason, it will default to the alternates. So if you have it in the alternates and primary, all you're really doing is limiting your choices. So please choose 11 different courses. Even if you're a senior and you're planning to have blocks of time off or graduate mid-year, you're still gonna need to choose, and everyone's gonna need to choose eight primary, three alternates, lock that in, submit to complete the course registration process. For anyone having blocks of time off, we will go in after the registration period and remove courses from your schedule as needed. Also of note, teacher recommendations should be visible in PowerSchool, so use those to your advantage and use the course listings provided as well. So in just a little bit, you'll be starting your course selections. The goal is to get to a page that looks like this. If you've done everything correctly when you submit, you should get a page that says, congratulations, 
and a list of your eight primary and your three alternate selections for a total of 11. If you do not get a page like this, you will get some type of error message. You will need to go back into PowerSchool and correct that error, submit again, and again, your goal is to get a page that looks very similar to what's on your screen now. So the course registration portal will be open until March 25th. So it's important to note that while we want you to complete the process today to get that page that says congratulations, you will be able to make changes if you need to anytime during the window. So if you have questions, make sure you ask your counselor. But again, don't worry about submitting. It is not the last time that you will be able to manipulate your courses if you choose to. But if you get that page and you're happy with it, then you are done with course registration. But again, the window is open to March 25th, so there are opportunities to make changes if you need to. So on your screen now is your Awesome Student Services Department. Please be sure to reach out to your designated counselor should you have any questions along the way during the registration window. I hope this presentation has been helpful. Let's choose some courses.